you thought you were having a bad day, just look at mine. That's what you call a bearing off start and great fright, but all turned out fine for Conrad Coleman. The race has been on for nearly a month and statistics confirm. It's a moment into the race when damages and misfortunes of all kinds occur the most. Last night, somewhere out in the Atlantic South, a mast and a dream were broken. Those of Kojiro Shiraishi, first Asian competitor in the history of the Vendée Globe, forced to abandon, the Japanese is en route towards Cape Town. Worries as well for Thomas Rouillon during a maneuver yesterday. Four mainsail battens broken. That's a bummer. Gonna have to fix that. Already prepared everything to fix my battens. Here, I have the broken pieces. Nothing irremediable, thank goodness, but tremendous energy spent to get it fixed. There, it's okay. I made the mainsail. It took me a lot of time, some energy, but it's back in order. And with the mainsail in good state, so that's great. Boats and rigs that are starting to suffer. Men wrung by fatigue at the moment where sailing conditions are becoming tougher for the whole fleet. We're finally caught up by the depression. Sea isn't too rough. However, there's a lot of wind. 35, 40 knots. There. It's not over yet, but it feels like it's calming down a little. The last 24 hours were extremely difficult. There. I'm anxious it be over so I can rest a little more. Paul Meillat relieved of Jérémy Bayou these last hours ever since Jérémy lowered his mainsail, having problems with a traveler head. Jérémy is heading towards Amsterdam Island, right in the middle of the Indian Ocean, so he can intervene in less agitated waters. Apart from that, Armel Leclerc, still in the lead, maintains Alex Thompson in his wake at about 30 miles.